Hey guys, today on Misha's Corner, I'll be making some cheesy pepper chicken. Um, I've made this recipe before a while ago on my cell phone, so I want to update it and probably even make it even better. <laughs> Alright, so first we're going to start with the rub for the chicken. In this bowl right here, I have some garlic powder and some brown sugar. To this, I'm going to add some cumin. You guys know that's kind of strong, so maybe a half a teaspoon of each of these. Coriander. You can season this chicken however you want to, though, you guys. You really can. It's forgiven, but you want that uh, sweet, salty, spicy um, effect on your chicken. This is the Grillmates Mont Montreal Chicken Spice. You need a lot of that because that's like the base. Then you're also going to add some crushed red pepper flakes. You can use cayenne. I'm making about six or seven chicken thighs. To this, you're also going to add salt. You're going to mix this up, and this is going to be the rub for the chicken. All right, you guys, so these are my chicken thighs. I washed them up really well and dried them. I know a lot of people don't like chicken skin, but you need the skin because that's where we're going to put the cheese and the pepper. So you want to put your spice mix right over your chicken. And you can marinate this for about an hour to up to overnight. And mix this in really well. Alright guys, so the cheese that I'm using is Monterey Jack and Sharp Cheddar. These are the peppers I'm using. I'm about to wash them up and slice them up. I have red, yellow, and green. Just to get that color effect down in there. So how I slice this up is, because I already sliced these. So I'm going to show you that you're going to make thin strips. Thin strips. And you're going to put it under your chicken. But let me show you how I got to this point through here. I had to do it the hard way, y'all. I should have, you know what I wish? I had the sandwich cheeses, you know those sliced cheeses? I wish that's what I had. So you want to go straight down. If you can find sandwich cheese like the provolone or the, you know... For people who are not well equipped with their knives, you can use that for sure. So you're going to go straight down and thin slices. You got to be careful so you don't break the cheese before you even get through it. And I'm looking like I'm going to break mine. <laughs> oh, I didn't. Alright, so then you're going to take, just like before, you're going to go down and make your strips. And you're going to put this right under the chicken thigh skin, just like that. Alright, now we're going to cut the pepper up. You want thin slices, as thin to the edge as you can get it. You see how thin this is? You need it to be really thin. Make sure you're using a sharp knife, but be careful. I'm about to start another one. This is the most tedious part, guys. I know this video is probably stretched all the way out more than it needs to be. I cut the little edgy pieces off and then I start this way. It's probably longer than it needs to be, but I need to show y'all what I'm doing. Feel free to fast forward. And then I'm going to cut up the green ones and then we're going to start stuffing the chicken. Alright you guys, so I have two pieces of my chicken right here. Um, you, all you're going to do is you're going to take a couple pieces of pepper. I'm probably going to go with red and yellow real quick. And you're just going to go right under the skin. This is so easy. Like you literally cannot mess it up. I don't want you to rip open any sides of the skin. Don't rip open the sides. If your skin so happens to don't lift up like this like mine's, just make some wiggle room with your fingers. But I don't want you to like peel it back. Because when you peel it back, that's when um, that's when all your cheese will leak out. Someone made this recipe the other day, and they had that concern, so that's why I wanted to address it. Don't peel your skin back. Unless it's already like that, then that's fine. But don't, like, peel it back. Because then you risk losing all your cheese from underneath your chicken. And that's pretty much it. That's all you're doing. You're going to pop this into a 375 degree oven until your chicken is cooked through. Usually this will take me about an hour at 375. I think another mistake I made in the last video is probably cooking it or telling you guys to cook it 
at 400 which probably caused the cheese to leak out even more so this time we're going to go to 375 for an hour or until the internal temperature is 165 and your chicken is super delicious golden brown and looks amazing alright guys so these are what they look like I cut up some onions and lay on the bottom of my pan just to protect the chicken add more flavor and moisture and also the excess pepper that I had left over I sprinkled it down there also I'm gonna pop this in my oven and I'll show you guys what this looks like and what I'm serving it with alright you guys so this is what the chicken looks like I'll make sure I put some pictures up so you guys can really see the pepper and the cheese um, underneath the chicken skin. I paired this with a corn souffle. This recipe will also be out um, in a few. Um, and this, this is what it looks like right here. It was also requested for the Thanksgiving edition um, that I'm doing. So yeah. And this chicken was just a random chicken recipe. So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. And I'll see you guys next time on my next video. Bye guys.